Sound all right. No, no, I'm fine. Well, okay then. <laughs> Dodo, you're so not fine. What's wrong? You can tell us. I'm just a little sad. Something bad happened this morning. Something really bad. <laughs> trying to make a scientific discovery for you, like you asked. Building the world's smallest indoor volcano is not a discovery. I'll do better next time, I promise. All I want is some little thing named after me. Is that too much to ask? Some itty bitty scientific discovery like... I'll, I'll find something, I will. Not for me, you won't. Your work here is done, finished. Pack your things and get out! You are fired! So now I have nothing to do. Being Mr. Vulture's personal assistant is all I've ever trained for. It's all I've ever done. We want to help. How can we help? Could you teach me how to make great scientific discoveries? Well, everything we know about science comes from our training here in the Academy. Hey, that's an idea. Maybe you could become a space racer, like us. Really? I can do that? How? All you've got to do is relax and answer a few test questions as honestly as you can. Okay. Uh... Are you ready to begin? Is that a trick question? Is that one of the questions? What if I answer wrong? There are no wrong answers. Let's begin with some simple math equations. How much is 2 plus 2? Two? 2 plus 2. Two plus two. Now wait, don't tell me. I know this. Two plus two is 22. Hmm, perhaps there are some wrong answers. Let's move on to a bit of basic science. The Earth revolves around. It does? Yes. Where does it revolve around? That's what I'm asking you. Oh, so you don't know either? Here's a hint. It's very large and very bright and is at the very center of our solar system. The... So... Something. Yes. Hmm. Perhaps another hint. The so moon. Ha! Ha! You thought you could trick me, didn't you? Ha ha ha! Now, just tell me what you see in each picture, Dodo. That's me and Mr. Vulture on vacation last year on Mars. Mr. Vulture and me playing games on his private space station. That's the time my little toy robot stopped working and Mr. Vulture gave me a new battery to fix it. <laughs> Very well. We shall take your many years of dedicated service to Vulture into account. You may join the school on a trial basis. I can? Welcome to Stardust Space Academy Junior Cadet Dodo. I hope your time here will be a pleasant one. Thank you, boss. I won't let you down, boss. Not boss. Just headmaster will do. Okay, boss master. Uh, head boss master. I mean, uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yay! Congratulations, Dodo. Yeah. We can start your training right now. Uh, no, you shut... 
the other eye, not the one you're using. Oh, yeah, that works. Ah! Oh, that was close! Oh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. uh. So, one more time. It's booster rockets, engaged, wings, back, space visors, down. Space visors up, wings out! No, oh, no, wings back. Right, space rockets on, wings down, booster visors engaged. No, wait, wait. Wing visors down, space boosters on, uh, something, something's engaged. Okay, you'll get it later. Let's just blast off. Buddy, you okay? I guess. I was just thinking about my old life. I kind of miss Mr. Vulture. Aw. Well, you've got a whole new life now. And new friends who care about you. Wait and see. You're gonna love being a space racer. But do I have what it takes? Absolutely. You're gonna be great. <laughs> no way. He's not ready for a real mission in space. I don't know if he'll ever be ready. As a wise rocket once said, there is no better way to learn than by doing. Some first-hand experience may be exactly what Junior Cadet Dodo needs. Well, okay. Whoa! Look at that big red planet! It must be the biggest, reddest planet in the universe! Has anyone named it? Yes, it's called Mars. Oh, well, what about that itty-bitty blue one way back there? Has anyone named that one? Yep, it's called Earth. Uh, we just came from there. And what's that really big one? Jupiter the largest planet in our solar system. And right over there is Io, one of Jupiter's moons. That's where we're headed today, to track some volcanic activity. Wow, look how tall that mountain is. Uh, how tall is it? Mount Pigeon is 15,000 meters high. Yup, we discovered that one last year. A great mountain, and we named it after a great coach. How does it work? You just find something and then name it? Well, first you have to find something on a planet that's of scientific interest, like a mountain, a lake, or a volcano. If it checks out as new, then you've discovered it, and you can name it. Oh! How big is that thing down there, with all the bubbling stuff in it? Oh, you mean the lake? Ava? Scanning my database now. I do not know. This sulfur lava lake on Io has never been measured or recorded. Wait, so it's undiscovered? That is correct, Junior Cadet. It has been unknown until now. Woohoo! I discovered something! <laughs> Greetings, fellow rocket. Hmm? Oh, Vulture. Hello. What might I help you with? You know, I heard the Funniest rumor. <laughs> I heard that Dodo may have enrolled as a cadet here in Stardust Space Academy. That is true. He has. How delightful. Uh, bully for Dodo. <laughs> so, how is he doing so far? Why? Do you find that you miss him? Miss the little imp? <laughs> Me? Why, no! Of course not! But... Headmaster Crane, do you read me? Eagle here, reporting from Io. Yes, Eagle, please go on. We think there's been a discovery of scientific interest here. By Dodo! A discovery by Junior Cadet Dodo? On Io? Wonderful! How extraordinary! How marvelous! And since Dodo works for me, any discovery would in fact be mine! No, it should be named after Dodo, since he no longer works for you. <laughs> Nonsense! Where did you get that silly idea? When you said Dodo, you're fired! Twice! No, no, no! Both times I said Dodo, you're hired! <laughs> I wanted to make doubly sure you were working for me. You do still want to work for me, don't you, Dodo? Well, I do love my new life. It's so exciting and fun, but I also sort of kind of miss working for Mr. Vulture. You want to go back, don't you? Yeah. Mr. Vulture, this is Dodo's manager, Eagle. He accepts your offer. Excellent! 
With a few conditions, of course. Such as? He'll need at least ten coffee fuel breaks a day. One. Two. Done. And he's allowed to watch My Luna Pony on TV whenever he wants to. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay! <clears throat> then we've got a deal. Excellent! That discovery on Io is mine! I'll be there in a jiffy to claim my new property! Vulture, this doesn't mean you own the Discovery, just that it can be named after you. Good work, Toto! You finally came through for me. I've always known you had it in you. Ah, uh, shucks. Thanks, boss. Um, yes, yes, yes. And now to the business at hand. Where is this magnificent new Discovery? Right this way. Welcome to Vulture Lake! Ew. Ew. What is that horrible, disgusting, rotten stench? That's your new Sulphur Lake. <laughs> um, sulphur Lakes on Iowa are pretty stinky, but isn't it beautiful? No. It smells like burning tires down here. I don't want this lake. Oops, too late. The pics are already posted all over the galactic web. <laughs> At last, you're famous, boss! Throughout the whole universe, just like you wanted. And your flag looks so cool. Hey, every time people see Vulture Lake or smell something really stinky, they'll think of you! <laughs> oh, the pain! <laughs>